If I'm teaching bobsled 101, there are three things that go into you know winning a bobsled race. It's a great drive, great equipment, and a fast start. I have two handles when I drive. Um, they're called D rings, so they're metal rings. Um, they're covered with like rope and tape, so I don't get frostbite. Ultimately, you pull right, the runners turn right. You pull left, the runners turn left. We have the greatest engineers in all of motorsports, and this is what we have. <laughs> this is it. You learn to drive by trial and error. What it's like to drive on a rounded edge on a sheet of ice. If anyone's ever hydroplane or spun their car, that's what it feels like all the way down. The equipment, the technology that goes into it, there's a rule book about this big right now and we're fighting for hundreds of a second so there's tons of resources dumped into trying to just squeak out little advantages here and there. And then when it comes to the push, because we don't have an engine, we are the power behind the sled. So we're training as much as we can in the off season to be as big and fast and strong and powerful as possible so we can move that sled. It's 365 pounds and we're trying to move it as fast as possible in about five seconds before we jump in and I navigate it to the bottom. It's always the rule of three. If you have a hundredth of a second advantage at the top with an equal drive, that's three hundredths at the bottom. If you're beating people by five, six, seven hundredths at the top, that's two tenths that the driver has to work with and it allows them to make a mistake. Whereas if you're starting from behind, it's really hard to catch up.